Hi guys, welcome to my channel in the second part of the video about the Australian English. If you haven't seen the first part, you can just simply click on the link above my head or just scroll down to the description box where I actually linked this video. The first part of this video was actually strictly about the Australian English and in this video I'm gonna ask my colleagues what they think about foreigners speaking English as their second language in Australia, what their advice is, if they appreciate it or not and how actually they they communicate with those people if they find it difficult or maybe easy so because I know you're dying to hear their opinion we're gonna just go straight into it Even though I think it's not that difficult to communicate with Australians if the uh, level of your English is at least, I'd say, intermediate, I do find that sometimes, even there, if there is like a slight difference between the correct Australian pronunciation and your pronunciation of a particular word, it's gonna cause a lot of drama for them to understand you because they are used to a specific pronunciation of particular words and if you make a mistake you may not be understood so for example I have experienced that a couple of times for example I said mackerel instead of mackerel and the lady who was serving me at a fish shop did not have a clue what I was talking about even though I was trying to buy the fish mackerel which is actually mackerel so that was one example another example was when I was trying to explain to my friend what she should eat <laughs> and I told her about almonds and she had no idea what I was talking about and uh, that was because they pronounce it almonds so not almonds but almonds and another funny situation I actually have experienced was uh, at a fish shop again when I tried to order a wild caught fish and the lady didn't understand me at all she asked me a couple of times to repeat myself and I Oh my gosh, there is this magpie attacking me. Oh no, I don't know where to go. I'm gonna hide behind this tree. I hope he's not going to see me. Jesus Christ. I was literally forced to move from my beautiful location back there because that magpie was trying to attack me and he's been attacking me for two hours now so <sighs> but honestly if I was to tell you about the most dangerous animal in Australia I would say it's this particular bird which is magpie Anyways, this episode is not about magpies or animals in Australia, it's about the Australian English, so let's get back to it. So sometimes you really have to repeat yourself like a couple of times <laughs> and even though you do that in uh, various ways with various pronunciations, accents, stresses, etc you will not be understood however some Australians understand foreigners more than the others obviously so it all depends on what uh, person you actually communicate with but I obviously asked my colleagues if it's difficult for them to understand foreigners speaking English as their second language and if so why is it difficult for you to understand foreigners speaking English as their second language and if so why oh yeah um the shorter and quicker that the word is, the harder it is for me to kind of understand it. So if there's like the accent or they're rolling something or I'm not really 100% sure on the word, I find the shorter the word, the harder it's for me to understand. Oh, yeah. Foreigners, yeah. yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Especially Russians. Okay. Okay. Penny, Penny said the Russian is her favorite accent. And you say it's the most difficult one. Yeah. <laughs> 
do they speak fast or do they use different words which confuses you or it's just the accent? Just the accent. Yeah. I feel for me it's not, personally, because I work in retail and I've worked in hospitality. However, as a general rule, I do know I get quite a laugh when friends and family are listening to someone who's foreign English um, is, is not as understandable and they do the whole <laughs> I, I get a laugh out of it. So I do feel like there is a vast majority of Australians who really don't understand what you're saying either. But once again, I reflect back to we're, we're pretty proud of, you know, making sure you know what we're talking about. Yeah, but do you think that the majority of Australians would then pretend to understand, try to guess, or okay. would they ask more questions about what the foreigner meant? Oh no, we'd guess. You'd guess? Okay. We'd, we'd simply <laughs> guess, yeah. Yeah, no, we, 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 we'd, we'd never wrong. <laughs> sometimes, not all the time, um, but sometimes it's just they're a little bit too quick, and the words are mumbled together. Sometimes they're not getting the exact right word for it. Um, Depending on how jumbled their statement or question was, I will have to ask them to repeat themselves, but I usually just try to think it through. But one funny fact is actually that sometimes I even understand Australians speaking English more than any foreigner speaking English as their second language. So uh, even for me, after being here for over eight years, it's easier to understand any Australian speaking English rather than any other foreigner speaking English or even other person from an English speaking country, which is not Australia, but for example, Canada, Britain, etc. So I got used to the Australian version of English so much after being here for over eight years that to me, the Australian English is the easiest uh, version of English to understand. So basically what I'm trying to say is that everyone can get used to the Australian version of English even though in the very beginning you find it extremely difficult and you don't understand a word. But I also decided to ask my colleagues what their favorite accent in English is. What is your favorite accent in English? British, American, Australian, Canadian or any other? Gotta be English. 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 Because my mum's English, so it's the rest of my family. South African sounds really nice. I like people with their accents using the Australian language. Well, English speaking Russians, hands down. But aside from that, I really, really love the British accent. Alright, so I'm definitely hating the American accent, just uh -huh. throwing that out there. Um, I actually love my Australian accent um, and second after that is Irish. And I was wondering and I asked my colleagues if it's true that Australians sometimes don't understand Americans, the British, Canadians or the Irish people or any other English speaking nation and if they actually find it difficult to understand them. Do you think that Australians sometimes don't understand Americans, the British, Canadians or other English speaking nations? Oh no, we've got them. Okay, so you always understand. Oh yeah, they're, <laughs> they're the ones who can't understand us. Alrighty. Yes. Okay, do they then ask you to repeat or they pretend to understand you? They will definitely ask us to repeat. Like, okay. yeah. Um, there's a lot of dog smilings. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understood. <laughs> what the <fuck> was that? <laughs> so why do you think they don't understand you sometimes? Because we speak very quickly. No, I wouldn't say so. Okay. Like it's... Do you think that those other English speaking nations wouldn't understand Australians or would have problems? Oh yeah. Why okay. is that you think? It's not the slang. It's I think the way that we're having a conversation, we use a lot of sarcasm or we're we're very like not rude but Oh yeah, we're rude. <laughs> we we have fun, so it it's not as professional, it can be, but it, when you're just talking amongst friends and there's someone else that sees it from the outside, I'd say, yeah, they, they definitely have a real hard time understanding Australians. Depending how strong the accent is, yeah, if I can understand them or not. I'll still understand them, but yeah, depending how strong the accent and how fast they speak. Okay, do you 
think they sometimes have troubles understanding you, Australians? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Why do you think is that? Well, my American friend reckons I speak too fast and my accent's really strong. One extremely important tip from me after living here for eight years and from my Australian colleagues is to slow it down. If you slow down while speaking English, you're gonna be understood easier and faster than when you actually speed it up. Even though you feel confident and you feel like you've got the words, you have to slow it down a little bit because you may not be understood. What's the best English language related advice you could give to a foreigner coming to Australia as a tourist? Use uh, hand signs. Use hand signs. Expressions. Yeah, use your hands because we'll understand you. Or well, we just learn the basic English just to get yourself out of trouble. Watch for the hand signals. That would basically give you a little bit further of an idea on where you're going in that conversation. But I obviously also had to ask them what uh, their best English language related advice to foreigners is uh, who actually come to Australia to live and work. for people coming to Australia uh, to work and live. They will pick up everything here and Australians will still help or there is like a certain language level that they should be at to even consider yeah. coming to Australia. Not at all. You can speak a not a lick of English. It depends where you're going with your career, like what job prospect. If you're like on a conveyor line, you know, you don't speak to anyone for your shift. You have lunch and then you talk. So it really depends on what their job history is and what they want to do as to how much English they'll need to be able to fulfill their job. For someone who's coming here to live and work, um, best advice would be to actually ask. So if you don't understand, ask, because they're just gonna keep repeating what we're saying assuming that you know. I feel like as long as you know the basics, just from being a, well being served by foreigners and stuff, um, they don't really need to, you just need to know the basics really, like um, basic, yeah, basic words, greetings, stuff like that, and, and then um, that's really, that's really it. Learn our ways. Do you appreciate foreigners who speak English as their second language or it doesn't impress you too much? I'm impressed with anyone who can string a sentence together in more than one language. <laughs> I reckon bloody good on them. Of course it does. I, it's, I'd say bewildering because you've got to think in your own thoughts, in your own language, and then you've got to convert it for how you want to say for English, and that's just... I couldn't imagine doing that. I've not, like, I've partially learnt a few languages, but I've never really become fluent in it. But I also think, guys, that Australians are very helpful and they want to understand you mainly and they will try to communicate with you in the easiest possible way if they know and they realize that you've got troubles and problems speaking or understanding English or their specific version of English, so the Australian English. But I also wanted to make sure and double check with them, so I asked my colleagues if Australians are understanding and helpful, uh, language-wise obviously, uh, when they speak with foreigners. Say that uh, basically Australians are understanding and helpful language-wise, obviously, when they speak with foreigners. Personal experience says yes. Um, as a generalization, I've been told that there is a few people who are a little bit on the not quite as nice side, mm -hmm. simply because they are foreign and they aren't speaking fluently, and that's a little bit unfair. Because if you're going to try and learn a second language, how well are you going to do? Yeah. It does take time. Definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've never really in my lifetime seen anyone um, get 
like angry or be rude when someone's sort of like asking for help, like a foreigner. Unless unless it's driving, unless it's driving, then it's a different story. Um, it's it's pretty pretty hectic then. But but yeah, I think as a whole. Us Australians are pretty tolerant and really good with people who don't speak English as the first language. I do think that, as I said, we take pride in kind of teaching. So, you know, when, when, when someone comes in and their, their English is almost non-existent, they are going to know something by the time they leave. If I'm talking work-wise in customer service, all the patients in the world. If it's like someone on the street as I'm walking past is like, where is this place? Please help. I will take time out of my day. I will or wait. Like I, it doesn't annoy me at all. I don't get frustrated by that. I know that it's painful, and I've had friends that have learnt it as a second language. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's my only language, and I'm terrible at it still. So, I'm yeah, just very understanding the, you know, the the cross between. Like even in just Spanish, I want to learn Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, it's how they structure everything is totally different. Mm -hmm. Like in French, obviously, is very well known how they male and female, how they make their sentences. English is not like that. Like it's only in writing is their rules. Whereas conversing with people is very individual arts. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, most of Australians would help those foreigners whose English level is not that advanced and it's uh, pretty difficult for them to communicate? Would you guys help them to understand each other? Or if somebody's uh, English level is very poor and uh, you would just ignore that person and try to finish the conversation? What's your way and what do you think is the Australian's way? Well, Australians as a whole are pretty easygoing, laid back, helpful. You know, should be right, we know. <laughs> so you'd say everyone would help, like foreigners, tourists? And Not everyone, mm -hmm. but as a generalization, Australians as a whole, yes. I'll probably try and help mm -hmm. so much, but if I can't figure it out, I'll probably say no. Nothing ourselves is like more than to really kind of drive home a little bit of a this is this so if they can't speak English we will teach them by the time they leave exactly what we're selling them <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay I mean it really depends what your basics really covering how to greet people and ask for help is definitely a basic in my eyes but I don't think that being able to pronounce things correctly and how to you know, form a sentence is, it's more than basic, I think, mm -hmm. but of course to still have the want and drive to be able to learn and not just think I've covered this much and I'll not learn any further and just go without even though you're living here or visiting here. If you're visiting here, obviously there's not as big of a pressure for it, but it's always good for people to want to progress. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I'm not pushy, but yeah, it's good for people to strive for. Okay guys, so that would be it in this video. I hope you liked it and you enjoyed listening to what Australians say about foreigners speaking English as their second language. I hope you liked this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because I really like to see that you liked the video. See you guys in my next video. Bye!